Hey everyone, this is Steve. And I'm Raymond from Our Lady Peace. And this is uh, our interview on Gibson.com. Alright, so I'm here with Rain and Steve from Our Lady Peace in the Gibson Guitar Tour Bus in Ottawa at the Juno Awards. You guys are playing Ottawa tonight. We are. We had our first uh, show in London last night of the tour, so uh, it should be a little bit better tonight. <laughs> Get the bugs out. A little rough around the edges last night. Yep. It was oh, yeah. great. Yeah. Some growing pains. But last we night. have a lot of uh, um, a lot of new songs we're playing, so we're just kind of learning those still. A lot of uh, we have an amazing light show and video. It's 3D video, so getting used to that and everything. But it's going well. So kind of in well, not kind of. It's very interesting. Our Lady Peaks. I mean huge massive sales I mean Columbia Records was behind it you know now I mean what you're doing now is like you're actually going back to the original roots before the big major label time and yeah. you're doing these really small intimate clubs I mean was there thought going back to the fans what how did that all come out honestly we we're just really excited you know our record comes out in a few days and we're all just really excited about it and, you know you plan a big tour is a lot a lot of planning and I think we were just really excited to get out there we were like let's just get out there get to whatever venues are available we also wanted to we wanted to make sure that we um, were able to get it's hard to it's hard to say this properly but we wanted the real hardcore fans to be able to get tickets so what we did we did these small venues where we can kind of control everything and um, we sold a lot of tickets through our website first not you know they were they were able to get like whatever you call front of the line so the people that follow us and have followed this record through on on our website um it was really important for us to make sure that they had access to these shows and um that's what's basically happened so the the crowd last night was incredible because they had been the ones that kind of know the songs and have been seeing the songs be born and uh so that's what this tour is really about is kind of it's for them as rain mentioned we we kind of really changing things up a lot with our our light show, even the way we're set up on stage, because we're lucky enough to have some really, really dedicated fans that come out and see us all the time, come to multiple cities, and you know, we kind of wanted to change it up for them as well as ourselves, so. And it must be really great, too, to see the new fans. I mean, the fans, the, our fans, bringing fans with them. Yeah, Because you guys have been really active about like letting music out and sharing your experiences, what's been going on in the recording and the whole bit. Yeah, we're really lucky. We still see 14, 15 year old people in the crowd every time. You know, we're always gaining new fans. It's yeah, it's crossed that, you know, it's the, the generation thing where it's been able to cross. And um, I, I, th I think this tour, it just shows us, you know, I think in the fall we'll do a full, you know, full bigger tour through, um, through the U.S. and through Canada. But it's a great way to start. And then we're talking guitars. We always have to, you're on the Gibson Guitar Tour bus. we got to talk a little bit about guitars. So I know. I'm, you're hanging on to one of Reigns. Yes. First time we ever talk. Do you mind? I've got a little Louis King. And you're like a nice 335 Trinity Lopez. Love them. What, what's it about the guitars? Like, what is it for you guys that you like? Besides that, you know. Honest, I mean, nice. <laughs> completely honestly, uh, I was playing some of my old vintage guitars four or five years ago. Because, you know, I, I try not to be a vintage guitar snob, but there's something about older ones that's great. and. Uh, you invited me down to the Gibson showroom in Toronto and I went down there and he said, hey, check this out. And he put a Trini Lopez in my hand and, you know, why don't you go check this out? And I was kind of like, oh, you know, new guitar, this and that. And I took it to rehearsal and plugged it in and it was like, holy wow, this 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 thing has got everything that my vintage guitars have. Uh, it, it has everything they have, plus it's got a little more uh, a little more oomph to it for us being a one guitar band kind of thing. And it, it blew my mind at that point. I was like, um, I kind of put the old ones away and I've been using the Trini Lopez on the road and in the studio ever since. It's a great all-around guitar. It's because, you know, we kind of, we only have one guitar player in our band and we need a certain amount of oomph, but it being a hollow body, it's got a lot of the sparkle and the air to it. And uh, it's kind of the perfect guitar for us. Definitely. I think we all noticed it in, uh, in rehearsal, the sense that it's, it can be clean. And then, like Steve said, it has it has some balls, but it it's you know it doesn't go as far as a Les Paul. I don't think we're that type of band, so it serves us really well. Yeah, yeah. And honestly, in, in making the last two records, it's been in the guitar rack with all my old ones that I've spent a good amount of money on, and we've used it just as much as anything else. It's kind of my it's such a great all around guitar that when we're writing and everything in the studio, it's kind of the one I go to because you can get so much out of it. 
All right, well, I know you guys got to get the sound check because you've had a really busy day and you've got a great show tonight in this tour, so hopefully we're going to be able to catch up with you later on the tour. I did not answer my phone. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. Hey, it's a part of life. Oh, yeah. So, yes, good luck tonight, and we'll see you again real soon. Thank you. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.